What to watch with Lavender Nicole. This dramas, recommended watches. Sharing my recommended watches from across the globe. I'll review and share with you a whole new world. Find me on YouTube, Life with Lavender Nicole. Well, happy 2021, my good people. Um, I just dropped, I think I recently dropped my 2020 watch list, so I hope you check that out. And today I'm going to talk about what I've been watching. We're talking Turkish, y'all. We're talking Turkish. But Meriba Nesasin. She learning just a little bit, just a little bit. Not fluent enough, but I'm going to try, y'all. I'm going to try. Yes. Um, I think I did a series of drops. I, I did a drop on learning a new language. I did a drop on my... And these are things that I have had actually in my, um, what do you call it, the lineup to drop, but I haven't. I didn't do any of the editing because I had a lot going on. Sometimes life is like that. You have a lot going on all at the same time. But I hope you watched and that you enjoy it. So let's talk about, like I said, we talking Turkish today, y'all. What am I watching? Let's talk about it. I've watched quite a bit of Turkish TV, so I'm just going to give you my highlights, meaning what I'm watching in this 2021 season and things I love about the show. I want to say, I don't want to say I have a favorite, so I'm not going to say which of these like is my oh my gosh show I can't go a week without watching it and seeing what happens next because they're all pretty um in my opinion they're all pr pretty thrilling they're definitely entertaining um if you like that type of show they're definitely entertaining and i believe they're so yeah if if you want to be entertained and like just go somewhere else for a moment these are the turkish shows to watch okay, first up we have Sefrin Kiza. I think that's the correct pronunciation. In English, it's the ambassador's daughter. It's the ambassador's daughter. And I believe this is the second season of this series. And it's good, y'all. Before I jump into this series, I'm going to tell you something. If you're not familiar with Turkish series, um, Turkish series really, really brings the drama. So if you are, I'm going to say if you're an English speaker, because it all depends on what region of the world you're from as far as how movies and entertainment is depicted for, for you. So I don't want to um, give a wrong kind of like biased perception. What I do want to say is Turkish TV, um, they do have an extra layer of drama, but for me, and this is just my opinion. I feel like they do such a good job with script writing and emotional connection. Like sometimes, even if something, and I'm, this is not referencing the series I was just discussing, I'm just talking about in general. Even if something is a bit, or perceived as a bit over dramatized, it doesn't take away from the messaging or the emotional connection or being right there with your characters. Um, with that being said, let's talk about it. Well, Sephirine, or the ambassador's daughter, let me stick to English because I can't speak English. The so the ambassador's daughter, um, we're in season two, 2021. And if you follow the show, I'm not going to give you any history about the show. I will um, drop a brief, um, the actual description for the show that I found in the description box. If you want to read what the show is actually about the details of the show. But what I can say in season two, there has been some role changes. Um, and I'm very, very interested to see where this series, especially after all of, like when I say crazy, mind blowing, like 
when you talk about twists, yeah, this series has had some definitely, some definite oh my god moments. And if you love a good love story, this series does have um, a love hate story going on all through it. Um, yeah, I think the the emotions in this story maybe love, hate jealousy envy um you can also see um family issues um yeah there's a lot twists and turns there's a lot in this storyline but this is one of the series i'm following and yeah you should watch it for yourselves see what you think it's an international series if you're not um like i said even though i'm not um did i say it i'm not sure but even though this series, when I'm watching it, I'm watching it in full Turkish. It's not, I haven't found it or where I'm watching it. It's only available in Turkish and I'm, I'm an English speaker. So I'm going to say this. I've been able to follow this series from season one and it's season two now. I've been able to follow the series and understand, um, I believe, understand most of what's happening in every episode. So I... I'm going to say, even if you're not a native English, I'm sorry, a native Turkish speaker, I think you could easily follow the series. I'm just going to, yeah, you can easily follow the series and understand the major events in each episode, not overall or every three or four. No, in each episode, you can pretty much see, follow the major events. They have enough emotional um connectivity to to carry you as far as interpreting what's taking place between the characters in that episode next up we have Harishi Harishi yeah there's no English translation guys so there's no English translation it's spelled H-E-R-C-A-I Harishi yeah this series i'm gonna say if you like the theater you're gonna love this series if you like the theater right now i'm not sure i'm not sure where you are but where i am nobody's going COVID is in full effect um and nobody's going to the theater so if you miss the theater yeah get in front of a big screen i'm gonna drop the link in the bio so you can go to the direct channel and you can sit back and you could watch some Harishi because it definitely, in my opinion, has a theater-ish, especially season one. I started watching this series in 2019 when it first was released. And currently we're in season three and it's 2021. Um, so, yeah, you have uh, a length of binge-worthy worthy series to, to catch up on. But I'm going to say, especially in season, the intro to season one, there was a theater-esque, in my opinion, theater-esque vibe going on to this series. So, um, what I will say when it comes to the main character, Rehan, um, because, you know, I'm not going to give the storyline away, guys. I'm just not. I will drop, like I said, there will be, like, brief descriptions about these stories in the description box. But what I will say from season one, um, when you think in theater or, um, maybe it has a bit of a Cinderella-ish, and that, it's not Cinderella, it's not, like, I only say Cinderella ish because Rayon is uh, I don't say it's a stepchild because her parents are definitely her mother, her father, her stepfather, or was she who she perceives as her father is definitely in the picture. But when it comes to the family system that exists, they definitely see her initially as a a step like a stepchild. You can see the treatment of her is definitely below the status of the other siblings in the family. So there's definitely that type of um, storyline happening, but there are some other 
like things that I could not I could not dream of I could not I couldn't I wouldn't even like I like to write and I wouldn't even like the the twist that happens in the series when it comes to this love story because there is a, a definite love story that happens and maybe that's why I think Cinderella because she falls in love this prince it, yeah maybe that's what that's another association where I say Cinderella because there is a guy and he is a guy okay he is a guy and they do fall in love and find each other and she is true to herself and yeah it's a watch it watch it for yourself guys i'm just telling you what i'm watching i'm just i'm just giving you some hints so if you want to follow along with me you watching what i'm watching maybe one day we could talk about it okay let's see what's next my next series is let me hope I get this pronunciation right. My Turkish viewers, don't get me, please. I'm trying. Bear Zamanlar Kukurova, which is Once Upon a Time in Kukurova. This series is in the third season. It's in the third season, and I have followed it from season one. When I say, um, twenty twenty one in season three, I am so mad and excited at the same time because I'm mad because some of my main characters have gone away from this season, but their replacements. I'm excited about to see what happens next because some of their replacements I've actually followed in other series and these actors are awesome. I, you know, it's like from good actor to good actor, you know what I mean? And they really take on their characters and I am, I love this series. All right. Yeah, this series for me, like, this series, it doesn't let me down. It doesn't let me down. It's actually, when it comes to love story and love triangles and family issues, family drama, there's jealousy, there's corruption, there's all types of stuff in this series. Um, the setting is old-time-ish, meaning um, it's associated like if you, I feel like if you're um, from the states and you like westerns, meaning series with like that western type of vibe, you may like this. You may lean towards the series more, meaning because of the setting it's in. And when's the last time they've released a good western in the states? I haven't seen one, so maybe that's even because when I was a little girl, I used to love westerns, but um, I haven't seen a good western being released in the 20s in some time now so but yeah this series it's a definite from begin from season one from see from, not from from episode one this series has been good from episode one and I remember there was a stint where I was so mad they took a, a short I want to say a break or I don't know at that time I think how their seasons ran was I was unfamiliar with it but I couldn't wait for the next season to come but these yeah this series is definitely I want to watch it every week it plays okay I want to watch it every week um, it comes on so these are my three Turkish series that I'm following and I'm following other series it's just some of these series they are lengthy in time so sometimes I have to certain series I have to binge watch when I am extremely free and that's like rarely because of the length of time with some of these series um, and the investment of time and other things I have going on but worth watching please don't let the time it takes you to watch one episode or watch um, yeah discourage you from watching 
the, the series is because it's good TV. It's just it's better than some of the stuff I've seen out there, and I feel like um, it doesn't matter what I feel. I want to know what you feel. Watch the series, people, and I'll continue to drop my my recommendations. Please don't forget to like, share, and yeah, <laughs> subscribe. Yeah, tell your friends to subscribe. All you gotta do is hit that button. Hit the button. It doesn't cost a thing. You'll just get updates from me, and you can choose to click or not to click. I want you to click though, if possible. Click. See if you like it. See if it interests you. I'll be talking about different stuff in 2021. I'll be talking about different stuff in different areas. So, um, whatever I'm talking about, I hope you enjoy it. Um, bye for now. Wishing you the best. Peace, love, and light. Have a great one, guys.